Penang in Malaysia and especially Georgetown is known for two main things, street art and street food. So today we're going on a self-guided walking tour to go and check out the colourful streets of Georgetown and to eat some good Malaysian food. First stop of the day is going to be breakfast because we are absolutely starving. So we're going to head to one of the local food courts and see what all we can pick up. So this is the Sure Well food court we're at at the minute and there is so many options for different meals. It is absolutely class and everything's so, so cheap. But we're not going to eat too much here because there is loads of other food locations we're looking to check out throughout the day as well. So we've decided to start off the day with a few pastries. We've got these Chinese inspired buns and then this one was described as soft and squidgy on the inside and he told us we had to try this one. And we of course got some iced coffees to go along with it. This is called Siu Pao. Siu Pao. This is called Siu Pao. This is called Siu Pao Biscuits. Siu Pao Biscuits. The dough biscuit. is a bit soft and a bit juicy and oh. this is crispy and dry. Okay. And this is very nice with pandan, our coconut, okay. with pandan leaf together. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. This is, a, this is a bit sweet. Okay. Perfect, thank you. perfect, thank you. It's <laughs> so good, it's mushy on the inside, crispy on the outside, nice and sweet. Really good. So we're just finished up breakfast and it was so, so tasty. Our favourite was definitely the triangle looking thing. It was padan leaf, which I think is quite similar to like the green custard that we were getting in Thailand, but it was a great start to the day. So our next stop of the day is we are going to hop on some city bikes and hopefully go check out some of the street art here. But we do know it is very spread out across Georgetown as well. When we got off the ferry the other day, we picked up this wee map and it should tell us where all the street art is across Georgetown. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully, hopefully. it goes well. All done over an app as well, super handy. Let's take the bike. Hey, hey. And just like that, we have bikes. A bike for me later. <laughs> The city bikes here are so handy and so, so easy to get. You literally download a Wii app, you sign your card up it, and then the payment comes off your card. And to get the bike unlocked from the station, all you have to do is scan a Wii barcode. So easy and they're so, so cheap. The cost of the bikes are three ricket per day, and in your first half an hour cycle, you get it free of charge, and then for any additional time than that, you have to pay one ricket as well. But if you leave the bike back within half an hour, you don't have to pay any addition, and it only charges three ricket then. So we're gonna take them for half an hour each time, leave them back, and then get a free cycle every time. So the bikes hopefully will only cost us three ricket per person for a full 24 hour period. Accommodation is smack bang centre of the middle of it all as well. It's right behind me here and we're actually on the street with the little boy on the bicycle so it's quite a famous piece of art as well. When you're walking around the Old Town area here in Georgetown, there is literally street art absolutely everywhere. Painted in all of the buildings, all of the corners, and all the wee alleyways as well. And a lot of it actually seems to be made out of like metal that has been bent a certain way to create different designs and different patterns. And I must say, it is so, so cool and it's such an interesting place just to walk around and explore. So one of the main reasons there's so many different options of food here and why the food is so, so famous here is because Georgetown is made up of so many different religions and cultures. The main ones being Indian, Chinese and Malay. So that means there's a wide variety of different food available and all of it that we have tried so far has been absolutely gorgeous, I must say. There is also an area here called Little India, which is just basically like a wee small Indian area, I suppose. And it is so, so cool. We've actually spent quite a bit of time in there so far and ate quite a lot of food out of it and the food there has been top class we actually couldn't believe how good it was and how cheap it was as well because we love Indian food
because there is so many different cultures and religions here in Georgetown as well, it's so interesting to see that there's so many different places of worship and prayer. You've literally got like Catholic churches, mosques, temples, all in like the same area and all in the one street. And it's great to see such a wide range of diversity in such a small area as well. The temples here have been so, so colourful as well and they've been so nice to just check out. A main thing to do here in the Penang area is also to go up to Penang Hill and there's a class temple up at the top there. And if you are planning to do this, it's really easy to get there. You can hop on the bus from the bus station. It's bus 204 and it's two ringgit per person. Stay on the bus to the very last station and the bus on the way back runs the whole way through till half ten at night. Always looking at clothes. Not always buying though. No. Never buying. Exactly. We've got too many as it yes. is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame it on sunshine. Blame it on moonlight. Blame Make it on the boogie. Hey. We grab a bike and head to our next destination. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Okay, we're going to hop back on the bike now, we've seen a wee bit of street art, do a wee bit of cycling around, see what else we can find, try to follow our map and then maybe pick up some more food because it's nearly lunchtime and I'm getting hungry again. Okay, we have just come to the Jetty food court here for lunch and what we have got looks absolutely amazing. I got some sizzling pork in some like sort of spicy gravy with fried rice and an egg and Ashleen has got uh, some sort of noodle. Mihon. I'm fried mihon, I think it is. <laughs> um, but it's really tasty. There's chicken and prawns and loads of vegetables and yeah, it's, I haven't helped myself. I, have, I couldn't help myself, I had to get stuck in. Yeah, both dishes look amazing so we're just gonna get straight stuck in because we are so, so hungry now at this stage as well. My board's really good. Mm -hmm. We have just finished up lunch here in the Jetty Food Court and holy ghost, I am Boston. That was literally so, so good. It was like a proper like luxury meal basically out of a food court and we are absolutely stuffed now. So we're gonna head back out onto the streets, do a wee bit more exploring, see what else we can find and see. And then hopefully later on, we'll be hungry enough again to get a wee bit more food for dinner. So we haven't made it too far. We have literally crossed the road from the food court to an area called Chu Jetty. A couple that we met up at the Penang Hill actually told us that we had to come and check it out. It's a full village up on stilts and I think it used to be a fisherman's village, but now it's just a place to come and check out and walk around. So a lot of the locals here just seem to be selling kind of typical touristy things out of like the front of their house and their wee shacks and huts and stuff as well. A lot of like clothes, souvenirs, bags and just wee knickknacks you can take home from your holidays as well. But I must say it's a very very cool area to walk around, I would definitely say come and check it out. But you don't really need too long walking around, we've walked around pretty much the whole thing in like maybe 15 minutes or so. But still worth coming and see because it is very very cool. So the Penang area here is absolutely massive. It's actually an island, which is something we didn't realize until we found out we had to get a ferry to get over here and that there's a big, massive, long bridge that connects here to the mainland as well. But the place is huge, to be honest with you. We really underestimated it and it's so, so built up. Once you go out of the old town area here where we're kind of staying and where we've been kind of walking around looking at all the art today, there's so many huge, huge buildings, massive big skyscrapers, huge shopping centers, and the place is just absolutely blue expectations in terms of what we thought it was and the size of the place as well. But we have been having a great time walking around and exploring everywhere we have. What's correct with you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. Making new friends? Yeah, she's um, Caroline. Caroline! <laughs> Caroline the soup eater. <laughs> Do you have 
Onion Bhaji. Onion Bhaji. Yeah, yes, one as well. We have made a little pit stop in Little India and we have picked ourselves up some chicken samosas and some onion bhajis off like a wee street saw and they look class, it says on the stall, like famous samosas, so we're going to be the judge of that, but I'm sure they're going to be pretty decent. <laughs> well, what's the verdict? <laughs> really good. Really good. <laughs> really good. <laughs> Love a samosa. There's not too many samosas that we don't like. Samosas? Yeah. Samosas? 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 All of the streets and buildings here are literally so colourful as well and it's just such a fun place to walk around. You know it's been a good day exploring if your map looks like this by the end of the day. But honestly we would have been lost without it. Okay, we are out for dinner at the minute at a place called New City. New City. New... New World Park Food City. Had a look at the sign there, big name. <laughs> we were looking to hit one of the streets for food that we were at one of the other nights because there was so much really, really good cheap food that we were trying, but unfortunately it was actually closed this evening, which we didn't expect. So we're here for dinner anyway, and we have ordered a feast tonight, so check this out. We have got a hot and spicy pan mi, which looks absolutely amazing with chicken. We have a baked rice with cheese, chicken, and peppered, black peppered sauce, I think it is. And then we also have a Singapore Mi Hoon, which is like a noodle based dish with chicken, beef, prawns, and I think a wee bit of pork as well. So we have a savage feeding to get through this evening, but we're hungry, we're ready for it. So we're gonna get stuck straight in. Okay, so I'm going with the most unfamiliar one to me yet. So this is the hot and spicy pan mi with egg, like a poached egg, beef, chicken, noodle, and these white things that we've been getting quite often. Do you know what they're called? No idea. White things, I don't know what they're called, but they're quite nice too. So I'm gonna go with a bit of the broth. It looks hot. Ooh. Very hot. <laughs> Maybe a white t-shirt wasn't Ooh. the best option. It's very hot. Oh, it's good though, like it's like tomato -y, chili, spicy mm. tongue tingling, like, yeah. oh, good. Oh man, it's really good. Really good. Oh my god, it like kicks you at the back of the throat, like instantly. <laughs> it's proper spicy, isn't it? Yeah, and it's roasted hot as well. <laughs> yeah, proper temperature hot, like. Hot, hot, and spicy hot. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. I think we're gonna need another bottle of water. <laughs> That was incredible. The mayhu was like, it was nice. The, the rice was just bland enough, but see this hot and spicy thing. Holy Moses, like spicy. that was spicy. It was so, so tasty, but I'm busted. I feel like I need to go for a nap now. <laughs> but as you can tell, we gave it a good crack. We got mostly through it. We never leave food, come on. Let's be realistic. We never leave food. <laughs> <sighs> oh. What a day, what a place, and oh my god, the food. The whole place is just absolutely class. Yeah. So, so good. Everything has just been so much better than what we were expecting. Way and better. we've just enjoyed every last minute. And I think we've had a little bit too much food. A little bit. So we are <laughs> moving on to the Cameron Highlands tomorrow, and we're going back to our roots, and we're going to do a little bit of hiking. Yeah, getting the hiking boots back out and hopefully walk off a bit of this food valley we've put on over this past couple of days. But just what an experience, what a trip. It is so colorful, so fun. The people are amazing here, the food's amazing, and the street art is absolutely class as well. So, so nice and so cool to walk around. But if you have liked this video, we would love it if you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, drop us a comment if you've been here, or any food recommendations for us to try in Malaysia, or just any places for us to check out in general as well. We would love to hear what you've got to say, and hopefully we will see you again in the next video.